All right, in this video, we're gonna install Python. So before we get started, just a couple of quick housekeeping things. Udemy usually asks you after just a couple of videos to rate the course. I know it's way too soon to be asking to rate a course. You don't know if this is gonna be good or not, but I would really, really appreciate if you dropped a four or a five star review when they ask you that. You can always go back and change it later if the course ends up being terrible, <laughs> but uh, I would really appreciate it because reviews absolutely make or break these courses. A couple of good reviews and the course starts showing up in the Udemy search, otherwise it just disappears forever. Nobody ever finds the course. So I would absolutely appreciate it if you did that. You don't have to write anything. Just click the little star button. Give me a five star review. I would eternally be grateful. And to, to bribe you to do that, I'm going to show you my website really quickly here. Codemy.com. This is my site. It has all my courses. And if you want to sign up for this thing, normally membership is $49. That gives you all of my courses, all of my future courses at no additional cost. But to bribe you today, I want to give you this suit, this coupon code super coder and it will knock off another $22. So you pay just $27 for all of my courses, all of my future courses. I've written several best-selling coding books on Amazon. You get the PDF version of those for free and it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, if you like this course, that's my way to bribe you. I realize I've already given you the code, so there's no inducement for you to actually leave a review, but I would really appreciate that. And that is just codemy.com. So now let's head over to python.org. We need to download Python. So if you're on a Mac or Linux, you probably already have Python, but it's a very old version of Python so you need to upgrade and add the latest version if you're on a Windows we need to go ahead and download the latest version now even if you have Python on your Windows computer already I'm gonna recommend that you uninstall it and reinstall the latest version because we're gonna do a couple of little things you might not have done when you installed it the first time and they're very very important so head over here click on the downloads tab here and you get these two options Python 2.7 is very old they're about to drop support for it you do not want to download this this is just for people that have old projects in Python Python and they need to keep supporting it. What you want is the latest version, Python 3. Point. Right now it's 6.5. By the time you watch this, it's probably gonna be a different number. As long as it's not, say, Python 4, even if it is Python 4, you're probably all right to download it. So whatever the latest version is, just go ahead and click this to download it. Save it anywhere on your computer. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. And it's not a very big file, 29 megabytes. You should be able to download it very, very quickly. So once that's downloaded, you can just go ahead and click it right here or navigate to your desktop or wherever you downloaded it and double click it. I'm just going to click it right here, click run. So this is very, very important. We don't want to just click here and do the defaults. We want the custom installation, but most importantly, make sure this little box right here is clicked. We want to add Python to the path. And this allows us to run Python from basically anywhere on our computer. If you don't click this, we're going to have all kinds of problems. So make sure this box is clicked. Now, after that, click this custom installation. And the thing I'm here that we're most interested in is this pip. Pip is an installation program. It allows us to download and install things from the command line using Python. So super important. We're going to use this to actually download Django and some of the other tools that we're going to need. And so go ahead and make sure that this is checked. The rest of these, they don't really matter that much. You can, you don't have to download the documentation if you don't want to, but if you do, go ahead and keep that clicked. And I'm just gonna leave the rest of these checked. So click next. Now we probably want install for all users. And let's see, what else do we have here? Boom. Okay, I think we can leave the rest of these the way they are. So finally click install, and this should take just a couple of minutes to install depending on how fast your computer is. Now we're installing pip, adding to path. That path thing is the most important part of this whole installation really. And like I said, even if you have Python already installed on your computer, I really recommend that you uninstall it completely. Go to your Windows start menu and click control panel, and there's a little uninstall program option when the next screen pops up. Uninstall your Python completely from your computer and then reinstall it like we just did. That's gonna keep you from having a lot of problems. Now, if you're on a Mac or Linux, the Linux, this is gonna be a slightly different thing, but you should be able to just walk through like we just did and install it just fine. So, okay, so setup, setup was successful, very, very easy, and we should be good to go. So in the next video, we're gonna look at downloading and installing our text editor and go from there.